Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And today, mom and I are at an estate sale. So we actually came yesterday. Uh, we were on a mission to get mom a new washer and dryer and they had one she really liked. So we did not film yesterday because we were rush, rush, rushing, trying to get what she wanted. We ended up with a few big things. So we're back today with the trailer and I figured I would give y'all a little look what we got and what all they had just because it was fun. Let's go. All right, so I don't know where mom went, uh, but I brought you back around to the back of the house where their garden is to show you the first thing we got, which is this fountain full of weeds. I don't know how estate sales work in your area, but here things are marked as sold with blue tape and you put a name on them. This is gonna be a fun one to get everything out of. So this is my fountain upstairs. Uh, mom got a fountain so I'm really excited but there's actually more things all out in the garden so who knows I'll probably go look out there but we're gonna focus first on loading everything up into the trailer um, just to see how much room we have and how much time we have oh my bitty my bitty girl wants to go into the garden I normally would not bring her to something like this, but she's actually was just picked up from the vet. She's been there overnight and she's a little sick and uh, I wasn't gonna leave her alone. So let's go upstairs. Mom said she needs help with the other fountain. It's right up here on this balcony. Mom has already started dismantling her fountain, which they were using as a fairy house with sand and lots of kids toys. So, but mom's is with her butt She's always giving you the best angles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Biddy, come on. I cannot help. Um, three tiers, and it had this big ball on the top. So we don't know that it's functional, but even if it's not functional, she'll just plant things in it or something. So we're going to go ahead and take all the little stuff out, and then they will help us load the heavy pieces. Then I will, uh, I'll give you guys a tour of what's left inside eventually. But like I said, we're gonna focus on loading up first. Um, there's mom going through the back garden. She's supposed to be helping us take stuff outside. Looks like she's looking at stuff. There's the washer and dryer. Of course, they are a good deal. Like I said, they were two fifty dollars for the washer, the dryer, and the pedestals, which is much better than what mom has. When you buy anything from a state sale, it is as is, so... Make sure it turns on, make sure it opens, you know, you want to check everything out. Make sure it looks like what you want, because uh, once you buy it, it's yours. I don't remember how this one opens. Ah, there's it. There it is. They put some uh, very nice Tupperware here in front of it for us. Now they are slightly different models, but they're close enough for government work. Whew. There's also fridge and freezer and Biddy doesn't know what we're doing. Made some time. Made some time. Here. Apparently down there moving, helping people and y'all don't see. No, we're figuring out. So let's go and I'll show you what's in the other rooms. This is where I got the pink depression glass plates, but there is still a bowl, two sherbet containers and a bigger platter, but you can see there is some nice furniture. I just saw that it was round and it was different pieces of silver and glass and flutes. That's a nice piece. 400, that is the most expensive thing I've seen in here. There's a lot missing from when we came through yesterday. 500 for this curio. 
They're definitely nice pieces. Come on, Betty. Of course, every estate style is going to be different depending on what the people had and what their style was. This is a nice neighborhood. It's a nice house. They have a lot of antiques. I believe it was an older couple. So that makes sense. Um, just depends on what you're looking for, but you know, you never know what you'll find. And especially uh, the company that does this sale always puts pictures up on their site. So you kind of know what you're getting before you decide to come. We are tired, bloody. Hey, mom fell down the stairs, up the stairs. So we will let you know what all we got when we get home. So we got a bunch of little stuff when we uh, left mom here for a minute and we're going home. Oh, everyone's very hot. It's hot as hell here. All right, we finally made it inside into the air conditioning. Here are all my small inside place pieces. A whole bunch of shells. I do resin uh, ocean wave projects in these. So that is amazing. I got a whole bunch of them. I also got this really pretty pink depression glass bowl that you'll probably see on a table. I collect pink depression glass. And this is the steal of the day, besides the fountains. Uh, $20 for this whole stack of six little pink depression glass dessert plates. And while I do collect any kind of pink depression glass, this is the exact pattern that I'm working on collecting and place settings of. So I have one of the large plates and I have a whole set of, uh, they're up here, the salad plates. Haha. -ha. So now I have salad and dessert and it was $20 for all of them. I also got a really pretty little fake Yadro girl, the goose girl. Another thing I collect, she was $2. $2 is a great price for anything. <laughs> and last but not least, mom got me this, which is gold plated uh, silverware. I don't know what pattern it is. There you go. But it's very pretty. It was only $40 for the whole set. It comes with the box. I'm going to have to organize it, but it doesn't look like it's been super heavily used. Gold is not really my thing. I have rose gold almost everywhere um, and silver, but I have silver, silverware, and I have rose gold, silverware, and I've been looking for gold for when I do table settings that would just look better with gold. So this was a fun find and I liked that it had the larger uh, serving pieces because that doesn't always happen. I, I will link below. There was two sets on Amazon. I literally almost purchased, um, but neither one had the serving sets and they were both way more than 40 for a full set. So 
Let's go ahead outside and I'll show you the outside things we ended up with. All right, outside pieces. So mom's fountain, this is the base of it. It's very pretty. And the bowl, so heavy. She also got this pedestal that just had a pot on it. Um, the pot didn't match and was like falling apart. So she just got the pedestal and she's going to put a different pot on it. And then my fountain, which has the base, the basin, and the girl, which is laying down over here. There's also all these broken pieces like under the fountain. So we went ahead and got them just in case we needed them. But these guys were so heavy, we ended up having to ask another customer who was just there also loading concrete pots and planters. He would help us load them. Um, even though we went back with my brother and some more help, it was just a lot. And I don't know if I mentioned, but my brother ended up buying two really big bookshelves that were a great price, um, but really heavy. So he, uh, he was more tired by the time we got to this than he expected. So last couple things I got were two planters right here. I don't know where I'm going to put them. My arbor has fallen down, but I loved that they matched. They are definitely concrete, very heavy, nice planters. It was a great price for them. I think I'm going to put them on either side of the shed down here. And this pot that had whatever this plant is in it. It looks like some type of succulent. And this pot was $30. But we got this pot, the square-based uh, pedestal that was up there, my bowl and shells and all the inside things, and a bunch of mom's inside things for $5. This was the end of the estate sale, and they were just like, $5 for everything, take it away. <laughs> we're gonna pop over to mom's, and I will show you uh, her inside things unless she's put them away, in which case, this will be the end of the video, because y'all, it has been like three separate days since we had to make so many trips to pick things up. All right, so we're at mom's house. She has the top of her fountain here. The other pieces of the fountain are in the back. So just imagine, them. I already showed them the one at my house. And then two, just kind of medium sized shepherd's hooks, which are still nice. A sunflower, like bird seed kind of thing. I think you would put bird seed on that. A white hanging basket holder. A really nice, bird shepherd's hook that's green that I pointed out to mom and somehow she went home with. I worked hard to get it. <laughs> it, it was really in there. This cute bunny and two teacups, which I'm going to use as plant stakes. So the teacups, the white hanging basket are mine. Everything else is mom's. Now the fountain of course was the fountain price. The bunny was 15. But everything else, the two teacups, the three shepherd's hooks, the white hanging basket, and the sunflower birdseed thing was on our $5 pile yeah. with everything I already showed you at my house. Yeah. So that was a pretty good $5 pile. It now, was, it was. I think we only got the $5 pile because we already spent many non $5 purchases. Yes. Well, and it was the end yeah. of the sale. My washer dryer plus and mom fell. And I think they felt like, yeah, um, they felt really bad about that. really bad, which it was not their fault. It, was it wasn't mom's fault. It was just a really long, hot day and she tripped. It yeah. happens. And luckily she wasn't hurt mm -hmm. and they came running. We came running. She had like six people around her in five seconds. Yeah. And, and she's I, fine. I have the Meniere's disease, yeah. just like Betsy. And, and we our, fall. Ear disorder, we just fall. And we fall sometimes. So but it was a great estate sale with, you know, lots we went of went there for We went for the washer, washer and dryer, dryer. So that was worth it. And the fountain. I did go there for one of those fountains. Yeah. And then we saw two fountains. So we were much happier. Yes. Because <laughs> so. I would have been fountainless. Yes, you would have not have gotten one. Look, mm -hmm. here's the thing. Everything you own will someday be mine. <clears throat> I'm going to live forever. Everything that touches. 
I'd rather mom be around to enjoy her fountains than I ever have them myself. Yes. But it was a good estate sale. Yeah, and it was a lot of work. It was. It was. It was a lot. And, and then Will got his two bookshelves. And then Will got his two yeah. bookshelves. I'll put a picture right here of Will's bookshelves. Ah, perfect. Perfect bookshelves. I mean, yes. it was great. He came in and he doesn't usually like anything. And he found... He helped me get a bunch of towels and found some sheets for the dogs. And he even found a sh couple sheets for himself. Yeah. And then he went down and he said, these Ooh. bookshelves are kind of cool. They were $80 each. And then 50% 50 50 off because it was the end of the sale. So then, and then $80 for two. And then I talked him into $50 for yes. two. And Will's only been in his house for a year or two. Yeah. He really only has furniture that mom and I have found him on. Facebook Marketplace or, or estate sales giving <laughs> or giving him first house syndrome. And yes. he's not a big shopper, so he's fine with that. Yeah. But when he was he happy with these. Cases, he was like, ooh, I like those. Yeah. But uh, we are done for the day. It, yes. you've, you might have noticed three outfit changes. It's been like the weekend of estate sale hail, even though it was it, it a was good so sell. Hot. It was so hot. Um, but he said that there's another two sales, sales, sales this week. This weekend. That are mostly, well, not mostly, a lot of but have a stuff. lot of garden stuff. Now, we're not going to be buying any more giant fountains no. because we have no more mount money, but space. But you get those two big pots. I know. I showed them those. Those pots were nice. Yeah. And we got a couple of extra miscellaneous pots here and there. So, I'm still there. trying to grow my concrete pot collection. Mom has a lot more than me because she's been collecting longer. Yes. And I'm, has I'm, more money. I'm much greedier than she is. And she also just takes things that I want a lot. Too bad. So we, if we go, we will bring y'all with us. But yes. for now, we're going to go take a break. Yes. Say bye, Mom. Bye.